Timeout. All right, Jeff Roberts, Magnolia Hoops here with Coach Potts. Uh, Gentry Rams uh, just fell short to Florence here in the semifinals. Uh, Coach, I want to ask you about your team. Uh, you know, coming down the playoffs, you, you didn't win the division, and you had the task of going on the road to face two of the better teams in North in 4A in Ripley and Pontotoc. Uh, you come out of that really well. Uh, what was it like for you being on the road like that and, and get the, the big wins like that? Well, it, it, I definitely, if I had my choice, I wouldn't have wanted to go on the road. I would much rather play at home. But, you know, the guys, they, we've overcome a lot of adversity. And going on the road in those tough venues, going to River, and he, he does a really, really good job. So going into, going into that facility, first of all, is, is, you know, to go in there and come out with a win, you know, Ain't many teams doing that. I think South Tiller may be the only team that went in there and got one this year other than us. Um, then, then they go to Pontotoc where they, I mean, it was <laughs> it was big time going into Pontotoc. It really was. When we got there, they had most of the fans, they were already there. They Before we could even go to the gym, we had to Number walk Chuck we, we the top fans, side. Go in. And you know, when you talk about hostile environments, we went into two, into two hostile environments, but it was fun. It was fun. We made it fun. And, you know, we stepped up and we played. We played some of, our, some of our best basketball of the year those two games. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, when we got here, you know, we didn't particularly play our best ball, but I think we competed. I think we competed. Um, definitely would have liked to do a little, do a little bit better. One minute. But, One know, minute to go on the court. At this point. So, you know, Florence is a good team. I can't tell you that from they got, they got some really, really good basketball players in fours and fourth. So those are pretty, they seem pretty good ones. So, you know, you know I wish them well. Uh, Chancellor, he does a really good job, and like again, I wish him well. Uh, about the four minute mark, somewhere in that range, Number you had 10, a, an unforced turnover, the ball was thrown out of bounds. Uh, I, I looked at you, and you just kind of ducked your head and, and, you, and you just just sighed out. Uh, well, was that kind of when you knew, hey, this this just ain't our night, just things ain't going our way tonight? Well, I mean, we had a we had a gang of unforced turnovers, and that was just one of the many that we had. And at that point, you know, I thought we were we was on the verge to potentially make a run. Three pointer, number twenty-three, Jacory Smith. And that, I think that my reaction from that turnover it was almost like a deflation because that's what that turnover kind of did. It, it, it kind of let the air out. At the end of the yeah. first quarter, Raymond uh, twenty-four. At the first of the year, twelve. Or in Denver summer, I, I kind of. I kind of called Chip out a little bit on his leadership. Uh, you know, kind of challenged him to step up a little bit, you know. Uh, in my opinion, tonight, you know, he come out there and almost had a big double-double. You know, he kind of put the team on his shoulders at parts of the game tonight. Uh, do you think he stepped up big? He did. I mean, I still expect him to do more because I know he can do more. I've seen him do more. So, you know, my expectations of, of my kids, you know, a little bit higher than everyone else's because I, I know what they're capable of doing. So I just try to get it all out of them. Uh, but he did, he did a good job, you know. He had to move from small forward to almost point guard position. So that just shows how diverse he, he's become over the last few years. You know, he come down running offense, you know, almost putting other players in position, and as, as well as having to be able to score the ball as well. So um, I'm proud of him. I'm, I'm really proud of him. It's been a long road with Chip. You know, I've had since he's a ninth grader. So I'm definitely going to get him. He's going to definitely be missed. Thanks, Coach. Indeed.